Hey guys, how are you? Good, good, good. Javon, obviously, first game as a as a freshman coming in. Just how is like your your nerves, energy, kind of? How'd you feel um, heading into the game? Um, I felt good. I feel like came in, like early in the game, we knew it was gonna be tough, and then we just stick to our game. How did you now? You, you shot two of three from um, from three point. Obviously, not a, a big number of shots from deep, but how do you feel comfortably shooting from uh, from three point range? Um, just getting up rips like every day after practice, uh, stay in the gym, just keep shooting. And obviously, working with Trey, the two of you both combined for twenty three and thirty one. What's that combo like, and how do you feel going towards the the season as, as it progresses? Um. Like going towards the season, I feel like it's just going to grow. Like our uh, chemistry together, just playing together, it's going to grow. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, up next is Cal Grabowski from the Gazette. Trey, you look pretty much in, in midseason form. Like, how did you get so comfortable so quickly out there to be able to, to score like that? Um, honestly, it's just preparation. Uh, we've been putting in a lot of work over this off season, and I just I knew I'm I'm ready to go. It, obviously, at the beginning, I was a, I was a little rusty, honestly, coming out of that quarantine. But there ain't no excuses. I have to prepare, and then I was ready to go. All right. Up next is Dan McGee from the Collegian. Hey guys, <clears throat> did you guys kind of feel yourselves gelling into the game? You know, the first couple minutes, I think you guys were only shooting 30% from the field and Northeastern had like five or six turnovers, you know, both sides looked a little bit rusty. Did you kind of feel yourselves gelling into the game as it went along? Um, yeah, I think as time went on, we just got more comfortable. I think uh, guys had the jitters, of course, their first college games, but uh, we came out hard on defense, but we just couldn't convert on offense. And then once we got into our flow, it was pretty easy from there. Thank you. Right. Up next is Howard Herman from the Berkshire Eagle. Hi, guys. I, I got a little late, so I don't know if anybody asked this, but when you first took the court, what was it like to look around and see 9,000 empty seats? <laughs> uh, just like, like not seeing the fans is different. So, like, we have to bring our own energy. On, this, on our side, just because we can't, there's no one there to like support us or scream, yell loud, none of that. I know we talked about it yesterday, but did it feel like like the old AAU days where you're in a big gym and there's nobody and nobody's really watching? Yeah, it felt like that. <laughs> okay, good. Thanks. All right, up next is Milton Posner from the Huntington News. I think it was Amos from, we're from uh, WRBU Sports. I think Amon was, Amon's, uh, Amon's our hunt news guy. I forget with my, my Northeastern fellows over there. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Sorry, no, we, we miss you. Um, Trey, I was just curious what you saw. I mean, you were mostly going against Greg Boygbin and, and, and Chris Doherty. It, it seemed in particular you were, you were taking Greg on the block every, or, or from the perimeter every time you, you, you had him. Was, was there something you were seeing in coverages or, or you felt like, oh, I can take certain people in certain spots? Um, I think I knew that I kind of had that step on him. So he was, he, I wanted to bring him out to the perimeter a little bit more, but honestly, I just kind of stayed within our offense and whatever I had at the moment is what I took. Thanks, Trey. Uh, up next is Eamon Ryan. Hey guys, um, you guys had a great game um, and you pretty much contained Northeastern throughout uh, especially with that press. Um, is that something you work on like almost all the time? Uh, and how do you just keep up that pressure during the games? Uh, obviously, it's uh, something we work on a lot, um, pretty much every single day. And I think, honestly, it's just our depth, being able to rotate guys through and those guys come in and bring the same level of energy. Thank you. All right, up next is Kyle Grabowski. A lot of new phases for you guys. Did it feel like everyone gelled pretty easily or did you have to go through hiccups of kind of integrating all, all the new guys at once? Uh, honestly, I think it was, it felt pretty comfortable for everybody from jump. I think we all have such good relationships with each other off the court. When we got on the court, we're nothing but excited and room for one another. 
All right, Dan McGee from the Collegian. Hey, Trey, uh, you know, obviously TJ playing his first game since coming back from injury last year. What was it like to have him back out on the floor, you guys? It was great getting the ball in the post and seeing, and seeing TJ over there open for three. I love seeing it. Awesome. Thank you. Any final questions for the guys? Uh, one more from Eamon Ryan, and then we'll close it out. Hey, guys, um, one more question. Um, obviously, um, Tyson Walker had a great game for Northeastern. Um, how do you guys feel like um, you should contain him for, next, for Sunday when you guys play again? Shoot. Um, I feel like we just got to talk more on the screens. He's looking to get, get up and off the screen. He's real shifty, real crafty through the screen, so we just got to talk more. Thank you.